They call them resurrection birds, and with good reason. When the Spanish first visited these shores and encountered hummingbirds, they were astounded. These tiny living gems glittered so brightly, the explorers thought surely they must die at night and be made fresh and new each day. The very existence of hummingbirds is a miracle. They're almost unimaginably tiny and fragile, fierce and fast. They're practically all air. Nine air sacs throughout the body, two lungs, and a huge heart. They're like bubbles wrapped in iridescent feathers, the lightest birds in the sky. And yet, relative to their size, they're also the fastest. To impress a female, an Allen's hummingbird plunges from the sky faster in terms of body lengths per second than the space shuttle. The longest migrant on Earth in terms of body lengths is a three inch long rufous hummingbird who flies 2,000 miles twice a year from Canada to Mexico and back. And what's most magical of all is that they do this not despite, but because of their fragility. And that fragility also makes them vulnerable. A few years ago, I had the good fortune of helping a bird rehabilitator, Brenda Sherburn LaBelle, rescue two orphaned baby hummingbirds. We named them Zuni and Maya. They had hatched in a nest no bigger than a quarter from eggs the size of navy beans. They were born the size of bumblebees. We had to feed them a special mixture every 20 minutes from dawn to dusk. And to tell you the truth, at first I was terrified. If we fed them too little, they would starve, but if we fed them too much, they would pop. But Maya and Zuni survived. They learned to fly, and we set them free. The story of Maya and Zuni is a kind of parable for our time, a true story of vulnerability and hope. This is the hummingbird's gift. We can all hold in our hands resurrection, seeds to grow echinacea, salvia, hollyhocks, hummingbird gardens to support these little bubbles wrapped in light. It's been a difficult, vulnerable year for all of us. But if we can help transform these little orphans into miracles of the sky, then perhaps we too and rise again, fresh and new each day, and do our part to help heal our sweet, green, broken, and still magical world.